Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. So, I'm going to continue reading Stargirl by Jerry Spinelli. I'm up to chapter 13 right now, so let's head over there. Chapter 13. In less than a minute, everything... Everything returned to normal. Stargirl retrieved Cinnamon and sat back coolly in the hot seat as if nothing had happened. Kevin's eyes twinkled. He was squirming. He couldn't wait to dig into the interview. Neither could the jury, but their eyes were not twinkling. Kevin forced himself to look serious. So your name? Stargirl. It's pretty un unusual. Stargirl gave, gave him a blank look. Kevin was... Kevin... Kevin was flustered, isn't it? he said. Stargirl shrugged. Not to me. She's putting him on, I thought. Chico, I said into the, into, the, into my mic, stay tight in her face. A voice was heard, heard dimly off camera. Kevin turned. A jury member had spoken. Jury mic up, I said, ready to. The mic was passed to Jennifer St. John. Two. The mic looked like, like a blank ice cream cone before Jennifer's face. Her voice wasn't pleasant. What was wrong with the name your parents gave you? Stargirl turned slowly to Jennifer. She smiled. Nothing. It was a good name. What was it? Susan. So why'd you drop it? Because I didn't feel like Susan anymore. So you just threw out Susan and just and named yourself Stargirl? No. Still smiling. No? Pocket Mouse. Twelve pairs of eyes boggled. What? I named myself Pocket Mouse, Stargirl said breezily. Then Mud Pie. Then Hully Gully. Then Stargirl. Damone Rishi snatched the mic from Jennifer St. John. So what's it going to be next? Dog turd? Uh-oh, I thought. Here we go. Kevin jumped in. So you change your name whenever you get tired of it. Whenever it doesn't fit anymore. I'm not my name. My name is something I wear like a shirt. If it gets, it gets worn, I outgrow it. I change it. So why Stargirl? Oh, I don't know. She petted Cinnamon's nose with her fingertip. I was walking in the desert one night, looking up at, at the sky like she chuckled. How can you not look at look at look at the sky? It just sort of came to me, fell onto me. Kevin looked up from his sheet of prepared questions. So what do your parents think? Are they sad you didn't keep Susan? No, it was almost their idea. When I started calling myself Pocket Mouse when I was little, they called me that too. And we just never went back. Then a distant voice from the jury. I tapped the sound man, jury mic, keep all mics open. I hated to do it. It was Mike Ebersole. I said, do you love your country? Yes, she answered briskly. Don't, do you love yours? Ebersole ignored her question. Why don't you say the Pledge of Allegiance right? She smiled. Sounds right to me. Sounds like you're, sounds like you're a traitor to me. Jurors only supposed to ask questions, not make statements. A hand reached into the picture and grabbed the mic from Ebersole. Becca Rinaldi's angry face appeared on the camera too. Why do you cheer for the other team? Stargo seemed to be thinking it over. I guess because I'm a cheerleader. You're not just a cheerleader, you dumb cluck. You dumb cluck. Becca Rinaldi was, Rinaldi was snarling into the mic. You're supposed to be our cheerleader. A Mika cheerleader. I glanced at Mr. Robinho. He was turned away from the monitors. He was staring straight at the set through the, con through the control room window. Stargo was leaning forward, looking earnestly at Becca Rinaldi, her voice small as a little girl's. When the other team scores a point and see how happy it makes all their fans, does, does, fans doesn't it make you happy too? Becca growled, no. Doesn't it make you want to join in? No. Don't you ever want the other team to, ever, to be happy too? No. Stargirl seemed genuinely surprised. You don't always want to be the winner, do you? Becca scowled at her, jutted out her jaw. Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I always want to be the winner. That's what I do. I root for us to win. That's what we all do. She swept her arm around the set. We root for Mika. She jabbed her finger at the stage. Who do you root for? Stargirl hesitated. She smiled and threw out her, she threw out her arms. I root for everybody. Kevin to the rescue, thankfully, clapped his hands. Hey, how about this? Maybe it should be official. Maybe one person in the whole district should be appointed to, to be on. He waved, his, waved, he waved his arm. Everybody sighed. Stargirl reached over and slapped Kevin's knee. She should wear every school's letter on her sweater. Kevin laughed. She had to be as big as a house. 
Stargirl slapped her Oni, then no letter at all. That's even better. She looked at the camera. She swiped at the space before her. Out with letters. Cheerleader at large. Everybody's a cheerleader. Everybody's cheerleader. Kevin sat at attention, placed his hand over his heart. With liberty and justice and a cheerleader for all. Ebersole snarled, snarled into the jury mic and a nut roll for all. Kevin wagged his finger. That's a no-no, he scolded. No statements from the jury. He scolded. No statements from the jury. Questions only. Rene Bozeman snatched the mic. Okay, here's a question. Why did you quit homeschooling? Stargirl's face became serious. I wanted to make friends. Well, you sure have a funny way of showing it making the whole school mad at you. I wish I'd never given it to hot-seating Stargirl. Stargirl just, Stargirl just stared. She could feel the scream with her face. Gimme, it was Jennifer St. John reaching for the mic. And out of school, too. You meddle to everybody's business when you stick your nose in whether you're invited or not. Why do you do that? Stargirl had no reply. Her usual imp impish expression was gone. She looked at Jennifer. She looked at Jennifer. She looked at the camera as if trying to find an answer in the lens. Then she was looking away, looking at looking at the control room. I looked, took my eyes from the monitor and for a second. I thought they met hers at the control room window. I had wondering whether when Hillary Kimball would speak up. Now she did. I'm going to tell you something, girl. You're goofy. You're crazy. Hillary was standing, jabbing her finger at Stargirl, chewing on the, on the mic. You must have come from Mars or something. Kevin raised a hint of in hand. And don't tell, don't, don't tell me no. Don't you tell me no statements, Kevin. Where'd you come from? Mars or something? There. Now it's a question. Why don't you go back to where you came from? That's another question. Stargirl's eyes filled the camera. Don't cry, I prayed. There was no stopping Hillary. You want to cheer for other schools? Fine. Go there. Don't come to my school. Get out of my school. Other hands are snatching at the mic. I know what your problem is. All this weird stuff you do is just to get attention. It's to get a boyfriend. The jurors laughed. There were, there were a mob. Hands grabbed at the mic. Kevin looked anxiously at me. I could do nothing. With all the buttons and switches at my command, I was still helpless to change anything on the other side of the, of the glass. I got a simple question for you. What's the matter with you, huh? Huh? Why can't you be normal? Why do you want to be so different? Yeah, something wrong with us? You gotta be so different? Why don't you wear makeup? They're all standing now, jabbering, jutting, shouting, whether they had the mic or not. You don't like us, do you? Do you? Mr. Robino flipped the master toggle on the console. That's it. I flipped the studio switch sound switch. That's it. Short show's over. The jury went on shouting. So yeah, that's chapter uh, 13 of Stargirl. Take care, everybody. Another video for my Storytime channel.